we are going to look into how we can create our logo. And to create a logo, you are simply going to come over here to the new tab and then come to gotqg forward slash cv. You'll come to a page, this one here. This is a platform called Canva. It helps you to create designs from logos, posters, videos, and presentations for free in the free version of this app. And uh, what we are going to use this platform for at the moment is we are going to create our logo. And to sign up is actually free for the start. And uh, in case you want advanced features, then you can always check out for the pro version and then you are good to go. So at the moment, I'm going to click over here on the logo option. Okay, so once we are here, then we are good to start. The good thing with this specific platform or with Canva, you don't have to have prior knowledge in design. They actually bring you already made designs or you can even use photos that are already within here. That is, if you are on the free version, you have to look up for those that are in free. But if you are using a pro version, you also have access to a great number of resources. You can use elements and so many other elements, shapes and all that stuff over here. You can use text. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can get started. You can add videos, you can change backgrounds, and there are also a lot of more other backgrounds over here. You can upload an image or you can upload even videos to your Canva design section and a lot more other stuff. So at the moment, we have our section over here. Okay. And what we are going to do is we are going to create our logo. So to create a logo, I'm going to click over here to the text section and I can look up for a template that probably I want to use for our logo randomly i'm going to pick up this one over here so i'm going to get this and boom by selecting it automatically it is added over here one thing i'm going to do is one is to ungroup i'm going to delete whatever i don't want so i've already deleted whatever i don't want at the moment so what i'm going to do also is by double clicking i can select the font that is in within here i can change this to dn consult and then i can delete the other font or the other text then i can easily also resize this box or section i'll delete this or i can even make it to be our uh, tagline for our logo but in this case i don't want to show a tagline on our logo i'm simply going to delete this and now you see we have a product just like this Maybe we want to add a shape and this shape could be anything from any of these elements. Let me look through this over here. And at the same time, uh, you can also draw your own shapes. So you don't have basically to use only the pre-made shapes in uh, Canva. So I'll try to just get this over here and I can shape it or resize it. I can position it to any section of our website. But in this case, I'm going to make it as our background for the logo. Position it something like this, a little bit down. And I'm going to make it something that looks like that. And then I am able to make changes to the color by clicking here on the section or on this shape. I can come over here. I can change the transparency of this. I can duplicate that same shape by clicking over here on duplicate and you can come over here, make changes to the color. In this case, we are going to use a color like this. And uh, for our font, we may also make changes to the font size, the font face by choosing from a number of these other fonts, change the styling, spacing, and a lot more so at the moment i'm simply going to choose a color for our font let me see how that will look like this looks pretty good and of course i have to save uh, the color codes for these colors that i have chosen so that i can also use them uh, later on in our website so once you are done creating your logo and you are happy you can simply also group these by selecting both of them and say group if you don't want to group them you can simply also ungroup and uh, that's all okay 
Now, once you are done creating your logo, now what we can do is to save our logo. How do we save our logo? Simply come over here and say download. Once you download, you'll have this copy of the logo. You can choose to change the size, but that is only available in the pro version. If you want a transparent logo, it will be in the pro version. If you want to compress the quality, that is also in the pro version. So you won't need to. If you had signed up for the pro version, well, you can all do all that stuff. So at the moment, I'm simply going to download. And boom, now we have our logo created and downloaded. Now, when I open it over here, copy, bring to the desktop, DN consult, see how it looks like. Ah, I love it. So we can also crop this logo like this in our website and you'll see how that look looks like so that we can get rid of the white on top and bottom. Besides Canva, or if you don't want to do the logo yourself by using these shapes and playing around with Canva, I also recommend a tool called Fiverr. So by simply going to go to QG for slash Fiverr, You'll be in position to hire creatives from around the world many of them from graphic designers digital marketing professionals writing and translation professionals video and animation and all this stuff here but in this case you can just simply come over here in the search and look for logos or logo designer or logo services and right here from the impression you get of, of people what they do for other clients and their ratings you can simply hire a, a creative from as little as five dollars and this case they can deliver your logo in 24 hours or even in less than that uh, depending on the stipulated delivery time that you ask them to do when you follow that affiliate link of mind you'll be in position actually to get up to 20 percent off for your very first order so consider using it if you're going to come and hire a creative from Fiverr. Now, since we are done creating our logo, I'm simply going to close over this. I'll close this over too. Then we are going to come back to our WordPress website and we are going to come straight to appearance and customize. So under customize, we're going to come straight to the header. We're going to go to site identity and you see this is where we have the logo now here what we can do is we are going to remove the logo and we are going to select a logo and we are going to come over here and we upload our logo that's our logo so we are going to say select that logo and now we can crop our logo so by simply resizing this like this and down over here and then you say crop image Boom, now we have a new logo. You see how that looks like. We can change the width of our logo. That of course changes the size of the logo. I prefer to make it 150. And of course you can also see how that's going to look like on different devices. The size of the logo. And again, you can make changes or you can resize uh, on that specific device, for example, on the mobile, I want it to be a little bit smaller, maybe like 100 pixels. And that's all.